besides manually selecting a note or group of notes and then moving them manually with the mouse, we actually have a couple of different ways or several ways that we can go about transposing these MIDI notes within reason. Now the first, while these two are selected, I can hold control on the QWERTY keyboard and then use the up and down arrows to adjust these one semitone at a time. We can also come up to the inspector here and we'll see that the first note that we select, the note position is going to be shown here and we can use the up and down arrows to move these. We could also just click in this field and manually enter in a particular pitch that we'd like to move the notes to. Now just because we have both of these selected, it's not going to place them both at that position that we put in and it will move them relatively as we just saw a second ago. Now if I deselect these two notes and then press Control A to select all notes within our MIDI clip, I'll press F8 to bring up the tool window and we can see at the top we have a pitch area. And if I go ahead and expand that out, we have the capability of transposing by a complete octave here, or we can click in this field and put in any value that we'd like. By default, it's going to be on 12. So if I go ahead and play this clip back as it is, I haven't applied this action yet. Let's hear how the piano sounds in its original state. Okay, so while we have 12 semitones up, one octave up, we'll go ahead and hit apply. I'll play back. Okay, so we can see how that works and you can put in any value that you'd like. We also have a randomized notes feature here as well. But I'm going to control Z to take those notes back to their original positions and escape out of our editor and then come to the main sequencer so we can see that if you have a clip or group of clips, you can select all of those and just use the transpose feature here within the tool window without needing to go into the editor. So right now, we are back to our original performance. And then if I select this clip by clicking once and then apply, I'll start from the beginning and play back. We can see that we can totally make adjustments from within the sequencer using the tool panel. So I just took that down by 12 and that's just going to go back to our original state. If I apply again, and that is how we can go about transposing our MIDI notes within Reason.